Hello, this is Lubas from the Open Society team, and I would like to show in a short video how you can download uh, the first prototype of SUSE's Adaptable Linux platform. Uh, all you need to do is uh, to be able to run QCow image, so something like Vert Manager with KVM or, Q uh, or VirtualBox will be perfectly fine. So uh, let's go to build OpenSUSE.org, which is the uh, public build service. And uh, you have to go to a project called SUSE Alt. This is where all the development happens. So everything is developed publicly. You can always get the latest build from here. Uh, go to repositories, uh, images, download repository. And then uh, there is a set of QCOW images. So one is the non-encrypted one, which is the one that we will use in this particular demo. And then there is an encrypted one, which will be shown in different demo. Uh, so let's just download it. I've already done it. You want to import the disk image. By the way, what to expect from the prototype? So uh, the scope is relatively small. It's supposed to be hostized for serving your workloads. It has cockpit interface and has Ansible and Salt in it. And uh, yeah, and there is option to have a full encryption with the TPM chip support. So uh, let's get uh, let's start with getting the uh, non-encrypted image installed. Okay, we have to choose a system. So let's, for example, use Linux Enterprise, which is probably close. I will use two gigs of memory. I will call this Alp. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So let's uh, click Finish. So this demo will basically show you running of the QCOW image. Uh, it will boot us right to the choose first boot wizard, which is the first boot wizard uh, used by Alp. It will allow you to set the root, root password, and that's basically it. Uh, you can also use combustion or ignition, which is also there. You can see that now it's looking for the ignition, but we don't have any uh, ignition drive plugged in. So it will take us directly to, to choose first boot should be pretty quick. Uh, the installer, which will be the day installer, if you've heard about it, uh, will come in one of the later prototypes. For these QCOW images, we basically have just this. Um, yes, we agree with the license. I will use the default, so UTC and password test. And that's it. So you can just log in and have a lot of fun. OS release. And that's it. I'll Thank you very much for watching this and I hope that you will try it by yourself.